Parshas B'Shalach Shishi. We know by the Mon, Klai Yisrael was instructed that the seventh day they can't go out to collect the Mon. But yet, unfortunately, there were those against Moshe Rabbeinu's command not to go out on Shabbos. Unfortunately, there were those who went out to collect the Mon. And after this transpires, HaKadosh Baruch Hu tells Vayom Rashem Al Moshe, the Ibn Shalom turns to Moshe Rabbeinu and he said, Ad ono, until when? Me antem lishmar mitzvah yisai v'say rasai. Until when are you going to refuse my turn and my mitzvahs? The question is, why is it Moshe Rabbeinu's fault? Why is it the rest of Klai Yisrael's fault? There are only those few who went out. Why is everybody guilty of that? And here the Mepharshim tell us because the mitzvah of Shabbos is so unique, it's so special, in a way, it's different than all the other mitzvahs. Person doesn't put on tefillin. It doesn't affect the rest of Klai Yisrael that puts on tefillin. Yes, if he's able to give musa, he's able to rebuke that person that didn't put on tefillin. Of course he should do it. But it doesn't affect my tefillin that I put on. I was Mekayim the mitzvah, somebody else wasn't. But Shabbos is so special, it's so unique, that if there's one year in Klai Yisrael that's not Shem Shabbos, it unfortunately affects the Shabbos as a whole, even the ones who kept the Shabbos. Never do you find any other love. It doesn't say, But by Shabbos, it's something that's so unique, it's so special. All of Klai Yisrael together, one year it's not Shem Shabbos. It affects the entire Shabbos. It lowers its holiness. Because when Gans Klai Yisrael keeps Shabbos, it elevates it to a whole different level. How does this work? The Pasuk tells us, Ki Hashem es HaShemayim It doesn't say, Ki Bisheshes, that in six days the Kodesh Baruch Hu created the world, but rather Ki Sheshes. Hashem only created the world for six days and that was it. If the six days the world was supposed to be destroyed, but you know what happened? Shabbos came. And it's the Kedusha of Shabbos that allows for another week to be born. So in a sense, it's really Shabbos that provides the life to the entire universe. The Ben Ishchai tells us, listen to this, the Ben Ishchai writes, the Mechabit, on the Mechaber in Shin Zayin, that the Mechaber says, one shouldn't be marb and varm betelem in the idle chatter on Shabbos, writes, the Ben Ishchai b'shem the Mechabalim. One hour of learning on Shabbos is worth a thousand hours during the week. That's how great, and that's the Kedusha of Shabbos. And that's why the Gemara tells us, Omali Shimu Yisrael is the Shabbos Ha'achas. If Gans Klai Yisrael keeps one Shabbos, there'll be such an enormous amount of Kedusha in the world that Miyad Nigel, it'll be so much Kedusha that brings Mashiach. Let's internalize the message that Shabbos is unique and different than all the other mitzvahs.